we are going to sew a sleeve placket. You know that little opening of fabric at the bottom of your sleeve that the cuff is attached to? That's called a sleeve placket. I know they can be challenging, so today I'm here to make it super easy for you. This video is by request and it's for Judy because she's making a button up shirt right now and needs a little help making sleeve plackets. The first thing you're going to need is the sleeve placket pattern. Now maybe you have one because you're sewing one from a pattern at home or maybe you're designing your own shirt and you need the pattern. Well, I've got one right here that you can download from my website, sewanastasia.com under digital downloads. Once you have your pattern piece, you're gonna wanna cut some fabric. So you're gonna wanna cut two sleeve plackets, one for each arm, and you're also gonna wanna cut two pieces of fusible interfacing the same size as your sleeve placket. I'm going to be sewing my sample on this piece of navy blue fabric here, but obviously your piece of fabric will be your sleeve. So next, we want to fuse the fusible interfacing to our sleeve placket. So you're just going to place it right on top, head over to the iron and fuse it down. Now that we have our interfacing fused to our sleeve placket, we are ready to get into all the details that make up this beautiful sleeve placket. So now we're going to start drawing a bunch of chalk lines on our placket so that way we know exactly where to fold our fabric and to sew. The first line we're going to draw is going to be an inch and a quarter. And we're gonna measure it from this edge here over an inch and a quarter. So keeping our chalk line parallel with the edge of the fabric, I just want you to draw an inch and a quarter over. And now we're gonna draw a half inch over. And now I want you to draw right in the middle of those two lines, which would be a quarter inch from either line. Okay, so now we have our first two sewing lines. So what we're gonna end up doing is sewing from the bottom up. We're going to come across the top here and then sew back down. So basically what we're doing is sewing half of a rectangle. Okay, so what we just drew was this box right here that's on our pattern piece. So we drew the half inch and then we drew the quarter inch line down the center. Now it might be hard to see on this fabric with the chalk, so I went ahead and drew on it with some blue chalk as well. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna place this on the edge of our fabric. So you want to make sure right now you are on the wrong side of your fabric with the right side of your placket. Make sure you're lining it up where it goes on your sleeve. And now what we're gonna do is sew up, come across, and back down. So this is a permanent stitch, so don't forget to back stitch at the beginning. When you get to the corner, make sure your needle's in, lift up your foot, and turn. Same thing when you get to your other corner, leave your needle in, foot up and turn. And just follow your chalk line. And when you get to the end, back stitch and cut. Now that you have that rectangle sewn, it should look something like that. Now what we want to do is very, very carefully cut up the rectangle and clip into the corners there. So we are going to cut right up the center of it. Scary, right? Stop a half inch before you get to the top of that stitch. And now we are going to very carefully clip directly to that corner. It's really important you're clipping directly to the corner but not through the stitches. So that way we get a nice clean turn later. And now it's gonna open up and it should look something like that. Now that we have our rectangle sewn down, it's time to do some major ironing so that way this placket turns out beautifully. We're going to take this edge here, and we're gonna iron it in a quarter of an inch. We're also gonna do the same thing on this long side here. We are going to fold it in a quarter of an inch and iron it down. So I'm gonna go do that and I'll be right back. Now I have both of those sides ironed down, so yours should look something like this as well. Now what we need to do is take the entire placket and turn it to the right side of the sleeve. So we are just gonna take it and flip it out, pull those corners, make sure they're nice and crisp up here, 
And now it's gonna feel like a little bit of a mess here, right? So now what we need to do is some really precise ironing. The first thing we're gonna do is work with the shorter side of the placket here. What we wanna do is iron down the seam allowance towards the inside of this piece of placket. And then what we're gonna do is take that folded edge that you already folded, and we are gonna iron it down just past the stitching line that's right here. You can see my red stitching line. So I want this fold to be right past that red stitching line. So that's gonna be our first big part of the placket is getting this part all folded up. And then what we're gonna end up doing is doing a little edge stitch on that fold to hold that part of the placket down. So I'm going to go iron that down and I'll be right back. Now that I have that piece of the placket ironed down, you can see it just looks like almost a little piece of bias binding wrapping the edge of this opening here. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do that little edge stitch right on the edge. You are gonna back stitch at the beginning and the end of this and make sure you're stitching so close to that edge so that way you don't have a flap of fabric there. It should be like a 16th of an inch away from the edge. When you get to the end, back stitch and cut. And it should look something like that. So you should have this really beautiful edge stitch going right down the side of that placket. Now that I have one edge of the placket here finished, we need to finish the other edge, which is the trickier edge, this giant flap of fabric here. So now what we're gonna do, since we already have this edge ironed over, is we wanna make sure that it is going to come right over the edge of the stitches that are already here from that original rectangle that we sewed. So with that, a quarter inch under, we're gonna take it and fold it right over that edge of stitches, ironing it down, and now you'll notice that it's going to cover this other placket piece here, which is exactly what we want because we're gonna have to put a button down here and then a buttonhole on top. So this is looking good. So we just need to go over to the iron and iron down that side. Now, the very end of this, you can choose to leave it a rectangle by just turning it under a quarter of an inch, or you can go ahead and make it have a little point like our original sample. So you can choose which way you'd like to iron it. Now that I have this all ironed down, I ironed my point, I ironed my fold here. It should look something like this with the tip folded in if you did a little point. So now what we need to do is sew it down. We're also going to do an edge stitch on this side, come all the way around the tip, and then come down. And how far do we know to come down to cross over? Well, that's going to depend how far up this side of the placket goes. So you wanna make sure you're coming down below it so that way you catch it. You wanna be sewing over this. So when we come down, we're gonna make sure we're catching it, sewing over it. So that way when we lift this up, there's no raw edge there. And if we flip it over, you'll notice how nice and neat the back looks. Okay, so let's head over to the sewing machine and sew this down. It's our last step. So I'm starting at the bottom of the placket here where the opening is. Um, you can leave this one out of the way, this side out of the way here, or you can leave it under right now. Just make sure you're not sewing on top of it currently. So we're gonna line up the machine for our edge stitch and just make sure we're doing that real beautiful tight edge stitch all the way down. Sometimes I'll stop and I'll pick it up and just make sure that my fold is covering that old stitch that's here, that original stitch, because we do not want to see that on the outside of our shirt. Make sure it's nice and straight. When you get to your corners, make sure you're leaving your needle in, lifting up your foot and pivoting. We're at the point, our needle's in, we lift up our foot and we pivot. We're at our last corner, needles in, lift up your foot and pivot. Now this is the part that gets a little tricky. How far do you come down? You need to make sure that you're coming down past this part of the placket here with the raw edge. So I'm gonna come down about a quarter inch past that and then sew over it. OK, 
Okay, I know I am past the top of that, so now I can leave my needle in, lift up my foot, and sew right over the placket. Backstitch. I'm gonna backstitch all the way to the end where I started there, and now I'm going to cut. And we did it, we sewed a placket. Okay you guys, we did it. That placket was so easy to sew, right? We just had a few folding techniques. You had to make sure you were sewing in the right spots and then voila, we have a beautiful placket on the front and on the back. So now tackling these on your shirts and your jackets and all those other fun things you love to wear should be super easy. So don't be afraid of a placket no more because we got you covered. I know I used to be afraid to sew them and didn't like sewing them. I was afraid I was gonna mess it up because you're cutting directly into this garment that you've been laboring over. And it's usually later on in the process, so it could go all wrong, right? You could destroy your garment, but you're not going to if you follow these super easy steps. So let's go over it in detail, nice and close, and then you can start sewing some plackets. So if we open it up, we can see our bound edge under here, which is finished really nice with our edge stitch here. I used a red stitch so that way you could see it real easy. And then we have the top of our placket here, and then we've got the little triangle tip at the top there and it just looks beautiful. Now it's ready for a buttonhole in the middle and then you'd sew your button right down there. Thank you so much for watching Sew Anastasia today. I hope you had fun making a placket and that now it is super easy to understand and you can just make plackets galore. Anyways, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I will get back with you as soon as I can. If you enjoyed this video today, make sure you give it a thumbs up, give it some applause and leave a comment down below. I'd love to know if you have any tips or tricks to share with everyone as well. And I'd love to see your projects you're working on. So make sure you tag me at Sew Anastasia so I can share them with everyone else. And if you're not already a subscriber, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when all the new videos come out. And if you are already a subscriber, thank you so much for watching So Anastasia today. And don't forget to add me on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and TikTok and all the social media websites so that way we can stay connected and creative together. And I would love to know what kind of tutorials you would like to see. So leave that down below as well so that way I can make them for you. And don't forget, I now teach sewing classes in my design studio here in Chicago, Illinois. And you can also take them virtually. So check that out at SewAnastasia.com along with my digital patterns. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.